when it says the prejudice of understanding, there will be a lack of interest in knowing that essentially means that you have already interpreted it in your own way and you have no motivation. You have no reason to know because you already think that, you know, before you actually know, because you're associating understanding with knowing. So what you think is achievable now may just be a stepping stone to a bigger part of your journey for the future, how you view situations, how you view your struggles, how you view yourself, that's going to dictate how you're going to take action in result to you interpreting that situation. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy, motivational speaking man. Today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be discussing the one thing that will instantly make you successful. Now, there are a lot of factors as to how you can be successful you know you have mindset you have the action you're taking but the one thing that i want to cover the one concept that would take you very far in life is the importance of perspective for my people who watch my videos we typically don't talk about the surface level concepts of perspective we dive deeper i want to start off with a quote that i actually read yesterday from a book called the 38 letters from J.D. Rockefeller to his son. Of course, all of my points in this video are going to connect to the main topic of the importance of having perspective. So don't worry, we gonna build on top of everything. We gonna dive deep into everything, break it down for you. But this quote here in this book actually, <coughs> excuse me, actually stood out to me a lot because this is what I've been preaching all of this time throughout my journey of being a content creator. And this is the concept that I talk about a lot in my videos. When I read this, it was like, like it just clicked with me instantly. And I want to read it to you, but if I can, let me try and find that. It says this, the page that I highlighted here, it says people without knowledge are ultimately useless, but those with knowledge are likely to become slaves of knowledge. Everyone needs to know that all knowledge will be transformed into preconceived notions and the result will be one-sided conservative psychology. Thinking that I understand, I understand, and society is like this. With the prejudice of understanding, there will be a lack of interest in knowing. And if there is no interest, it will lose the motivation to move forward and only boredom is left waiting. Therefore, not understanding will lead to success. Now, let me know if after reading that, y'all swam or y'all drowned. <laughs> it's like, when I read this, I instantly knew for a second, like, okay, I need to read this shit again because there is something like with this that I need to really take it. So I read it again. And it just instantly clicked. And I said, holy shit. If you understand based off reading that, well done. If not, it's totally fine. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to break it down. We dive deep. Let's get it, man. Okay, so the first line says, people without knowledge are ultimately useless. But those with knowledge are likely to become slaves of knowledge. So what does that mean? People without knowledge are ultimately useless. If you don't know, if you don't consume, expand your knowledge, you aren't open to learning. It's like you're never going to grow. But it says, but those with knowledge are likely to become slaves of knowledge. So what does that mean? I'm not going to dive too deep into this because I do have a whole other video that I dive super, super deep into the three stages of progression. You will see it along here. That essentially is saying that most people get stuck too much in the consuming mindset. So the moment they consume knowledge, they want to consume more and more and more and more and more. Now, there's nothing wrong with learning, with being curious, with being a sponge to knowledge. But the main problem that people tend to encounter is they get too stuck in the consuming mindset and not enough of applying it. Essentially, when you don't apply enough of your knowledge, for one, you're never really able to implement it into your life because it's just something you understand. But 
you don't really know it yet. You haven't applied it fully to it for it to become a part of you yet. That's when we can dive into the next line. Watch this. Everyone needs to know that all knowledge will be transformed into preconceived notions and that the result will be one-sided conservative psychology. All knowledge will be transformed into preconceived notions. What does that mean? That means that it is judgment. It is your interpretation of how you view a certain concept, a certain topic before there is any evidence or before there is any fact, actual fact towards that. You can almost look at it as like an opinion, but you're not saying you're just thinking, you're interpreting, you're looking at it at your point of view. And the result will be one-sided conservative psychology, meaning it would just be biased. It will be in your point of view. Thinking that I understand, I understand, and society is like this, is like this. So just adding on to you understand, but you don't know. With the prejudice of understanding, there will be a lack of interest in knowing. And if there is no interest, it will lose the motivation to move forward. And only boredom is left waiting. Therefore, not understanding will lead to success. So when it says the prejudice of understanding, there will be a lack of interest in knowing. That essentially means that you have already interpreted it in your own way and you have no motivation. You have no reason to know because you already think that you know before you actually know if that makes sense. So you don't know it yet, but you think you know because you're associating understanding with knowing. Knowing is based off actual evidence to back up whatever it is that you know. But understanding just, it's its surface level. Okay, you get it. You've watched this video already or you, you've seen this already. No, it's just, it's knowledge. It's just memory. You just remember it. But when you know it, it's deep within you. It is true understanding. So there will be a lack of interest in knowing. And if there is no interest, it will lose the motivation to move forward. So essentially, when you think you know, you wouldn't want to learn anymore. You're like, I already know this. You limit your perspective. And for those wondering, this is how it connects to our topic today of the video. Importance of perspective in your success. And only boredom is left waiting. Therefore, not understanding will lead to success. Meaning, don't understand but know it. So this quote here really stood out to me. Now, of course, this entire video isn't entirely about a book breakdown, but I wanted to start off with this message here because it connects with the topic today. So where does that lead to? The importance of having an open perspective. What is so important about it? Shouldn't we just figure things out on our own and interpret it in our own way and just act from there. The reason we should have an open perspective is because we see all sides of the situation. We see all sides of the coin. We, we aren't limited to one view or one outcome of a certain situation, whether that be only limiting to one option or whatever it is. We see all sides of the coin so that we can make the best decision to increase our probability of success, of reaching the outcome that we desire. That is why having an open perspective is important. Now, when most people try to interpret situations or look at situations the way they are, they try to interpret it as good or bad. Now, something I was able to pick up on by someone named Taekwondo, a content creator, he says that he doesn't look at the situations as good or bad. He looks at situations as whether or not they are useful to him or not. And I totally agree with that. And the reason is because good or bad is subjective. Because something good for one person might be something bad for another person. Bad. Let's say it was a situation that wasn't in your control at all. Your perspective of the situation, how you view the situation, will then lead to how you will respond to the situation. For example, if you were to get a cold one day and you had plans, you had goals for that day, and now you have to cancel it. 
you look at the situation as fucking hell i got sick man now my plans are ruined now i'm just oh i hate life life is against me the world hates me every time i try to make plans something comes up that's one way of looking at it or if you open up your perspective and you try and look for an opportunity out of that maybe i got sick but man it is what it is now i'm now that i'm at home maybe i could take this time to start reading more books start doing more research on that business i wanted to start as i'm resting i will i will look at this as an opportunity to get ahead further to my goals and now when it comes to your dreams and your goals i want to take a quote from a book called principles by ray dalio and one of the quotes the lines from that book that stood out to me is what you think is attainable is just a function of what you know at the moment. Now, what does that mean? And again, this ties into perspective. You could be destined for so much more. You may actually have the potential to be the greatest at what you do, the most successful at your whatever it is you're, you're striving towards. And the struggles and the setbacks that you face throughout your journey are tests to not only see if you're meant for it, meant for what you're striving towards, but also to give a glimpse of your potential and to show how much stronger you really are versus what you think you know you are. But again, this is all perspective because I look at your struggles and my struggles as a test, but you can look at struggles as the universe or God not, not wanting you to succeed. Who's telling you no for your dream. You can have such a narrow perspective that you can look at those struggles that you're facing as maybe this is a sign that this isn't for me. Maybe this is a sign that I should give up. Maybe this is a sign that it's telling me that God is telling me that I should head back, that this isn't meant for me. You can look at it like that. And that's why most people give up because they're so narrow minded. They look at one side of the situation and they act impulsively on that situation for what it is versus if you just flip to the other side of the coin you also look back at the amount of problems you have overcome in your life oh man i've i've been through struggle before and guess what i'm still here i'm still here and i'm still fighting this war that i'm in to to get to to get to where i want to be to get what i want out of life so what you think is achievable now may just be a stepping stone to a bigger part of your journey for the future. But again, it's all perspective. When you continue to be persistent, when you continue to be courageous and just driven to, to want to get to your goals and you are actually taking action, you begin to know more about yourself and also the journey that you're heading towards. And this makes you start to set the bar higher as as you said, as you accomplish more goals and goals and goals, you're setting the bar higher. You're, you're striving for more goals. And what do you know? You're in a completely different stage of your life. So going back to the quote, what you think is attainable is just a function of what you know at the moment. So when you continue to know more about yourself, when you continue to get a glimpse of your potential, by staying consistent, by staying persistent, by drilling through these, these setbacks and these, and these obstacles, you begin to know more about yourself. But at the end of the day, what does this all come down to? Your perspective, how you view situations, how you view yourself, how you view your struggles, how you view your successes. That's going to dictate how you're going to move on, how you're going to take action in result to you interpreting that situation, whether it was in your control or not. The final question you may have is, how do I keep an open perspective? How do I develop this kind of mindset to, to want to look to the all sides of a situation? And it's just training your mind to do so. It's not acting impulsively. The moment, the moment something comes up in your face, you just, oh, you just freak out. You, you just chill out, take a step back, Look at all the possible decisions you can make regarding that outcome or that situation you're facing and act on there. Act what's aligned with your goals and your plans. 
Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting recently on my videos as well as the channel itself. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed the content, leave a like, subscribe, comment, comment down below what topic you want me to cover next, as well as any creators or anyone you want me to react to, break down, whatever, because I'm going heavy on the reactions right now. So this one-on-one -on -one talk with me and you, as well as the reactions, I'm kind of feeling them right now. Also, Road to 1K is still in effect. So listen, y'all do y'all part, and I'm going to do my part. You feel me? So we're going to get this content rolling. We're going to keep staying consistent. I appreciate you again for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.